Also new on the night team, a judge has ruled in favor of LMPD in a lawsuit that accused officers of wrongfully handcuffing a man, his girlfriend, and a 10-year-old girl. Girl, Roy Stucker claimed in 2019 that he was hired to paint a house by a new tenant. But while he was inside painting the house, the SWAT team conducted a raid on the home in connection with a man that they had already booked into custody 10 days earlier. Now, a judge has ruled in favor of police, saying in that moment, the officers acted reasonably with the information that they had. Tonight, WHS 1119's Bobby McSwine and photojournalist Ian Hardwit talked with Stucker and his family about the raid and how they are feeling after learning the judge's ruling. The worst day of my life. I thought, I thought we were all going to die. Courtney Brown Porter, her husband Roy Stucker, and their 14-year-old daughter Celine Winland are still haunted. If somebody's coming over, they have to tell me that somebody's coming over before they come over, so I'm not about to have a panic attack and stuff like that. By an LMPD SWAT raid more than three years ago. The windows was getting busted out, percussion bombs going through, and um, didn't even really realize it was the police. Porter remembers her daughter running to her. <laughs> I was just hoping that whoever came into the house, it would stop with me. It's these memories that make it hard for them to believe. A federal judge ruled in the LMPD officers and Metro government's favor, but the judge decided that no constitutional violation occurred in the issuance of the warrant. According to the lawsuit he filed, Roy was working as a contracted painter at this South Louisville home on July 15, 2019. His family was in the residence with him as well. They didn't expect a SWAT team to forcibly enter and handcuff them, including their then 10-year-old daughter. And I was like, are y'all serious? Y'all really gonna handcuff my 10 year old daughter? Like, y'all grown men, what kind of threat is she to you? The house that was raided was the previous home of a man arrested 10 days before. He was still in custody on the day in question. The federal judge's opinion says officers were acting on relevant information, looking for a different man they believe was involved in drug trafficking and had visited the residence two months prior. Steel. The family says the terror they experienced, followed by the treatment they received that day, and now this ruling is not what justice looks like. Celine no longer attends contracting jobs with her father, something she once loved. What they did is unforgivable. I would never forgive any police for anything. For what they did, it changed my view on them. Roy says their lawyer plans to appeal the judgment. In Louisville, Bobby McSwine, the WHAS 1119, on your side.